Welcome back guys, patch 2.2 is now available for Cyberpunk 2077. This update includes more customization options for our character and vehicles. The following vehicles are now available for purchase on Autofixer. Following Act 1, Johnny will occasionally appear in the passenger seat while we is driving to comment on and react to what's happening. Photo mode has been overhauled and the following community requested features have been added. Unfortunately, the game still does not support FSR 3.1. This means we cannot use DLSS Subscaler in conjunction with FSR Frame Generation. FSR Upscaler in this game looks pretty average. It produces a lot of texture shimmering around fine textures like wires, meshes and fences. It's present even around the trees. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Nukem 9's DLSS G2 FSR 3.1 mod in this game to enable DLSS Subscaler in conjunction with FSR Frame Generation. We'll also show you how to manually update DLSS Subscaler to version 3.8.10. PC specific fixes. Optimized threading system to improve performance by up to 33% on Intel Arrow Lake based CPUs. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Nukem 9's mod only works on RTX GPUs. If you want to run the mod on Intel or AMD based GPUs, you need to use DLSS enabler. I have already shown the setup process on ROG Ally. We'll drop the link in the description. We'll be using build 0.100 universal version of Nukem 9 mod. Can be downloaded from Freeform Nexus Mods website. There is the link. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just click on files. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. Enabling FSR frame generation in this game using Nukem 9's mod will produce a lot of ghosting around a fast moving vehicle. So we need to use another mod in order to fix this ghosting. Frame generation ghosting fix for FSR 3 3.1 FG. This mod is free. Click on files here. We'll be downloading an older version of this mod that does not require archive XL mod tool. This is the version that I'll be using 1.4a. It supports 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. If your display supports a different aspect ratio, just download the version of the mod corresponding to that aspect ratio. For example, my Steam Deck supports 16 is to 10 aspect ratio. So I downloaded this version of the mod for Deck. But for my Windows PC, I'll be downloading this version. Manual download. Download. Slow download. We'll be downloading a few more mods. Disable vignette. Click on manual download. Click on slow download. Next we have crouch vignette effect remover 2.0. Click on manual download. Click on slow download. Download the latest DLL for DLSS subscaler from Tech Power Up's website. At the time of recording this video, it's 3.8.10. Click on download here. Now just click on any of the servers. Download will start. All of the files have been downloaded. First I'll install Nukem 9's mod. Just open its zip file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy these two dll files. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. I own the Steam version of Cyberpunk. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Manage. Browse local files. Open bin folder. Open x64 folder. There is the game's exe file. Paste the mod files here. Now I'll manually update DLSS Subscaler version. The game comes with DLSS version 3.5. Just open DLSS Subscaler zip file. There it is. Copy this DLL file. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the mod files. Right here. Overwrite. Check its version. Right click properties details version 3.8.10 now i'll install the other mods extract the contents of each mod first we have crouch vignette effect remover copy the archive folder go back paste do the same thing for frame gen ghosting fix again do the same thing for disable vignette
Now keep opening the folders present inside this archive folder until you reach the final subdirectory. You will find these three archive files. These are the mods that we will be using. Just copy this archive folder. Open the games install directory. Paste the archive folder here. Open it. Open PC folder. Yeah, this mod folder should be present here. Our mods. Now make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anyway in the desktop area, then click on display settings. Now click on graphics. Click on change default graphics setting. Enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage CD settings, then click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Cyberpunk 2077. Scroll down until you find VSync setting. Enable it. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. Click on setup G-Sync here and enable all of the settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. Apply. We are ready to run the game. We'll be using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. In game settings, I'll just set the preset to ray tracing medium. Run the game using FSR 3 upscaler. Show you the texture shimmering that it produces. Using its quality preset, sharpness level set to 0.3. Frame generation off. Ray tracing enabled. These are the settings that come with ray tracing medium preset. I'll just disable motion blur. Film grain disabled as well. Don't like using chromatic vibration. That's it. High to ultra settings. Display mode set to windowed borderless. Full HD resolution. Nvidia reflex enabled. Using off. We are in standing right outside B's apartment building in Little China. Okay, just observe the vegetation here in the far off background. Can observe some texture shimmering around the trees and the plants. This texture shimmering will be fixed when I switch to DLSS subscaler. I'll also show you some fences. When we view these fences from a far off background, texture shimmering occurs. Just check out the friends in the background, ugly texture shimmering is occurring, all thanks to FSR upscaler, it's looking hideous, can observe some texture shimmering even around that building in the far off background. I'll just switch to DLSS subscaler, DLSS super resolution, quality preset, sharpness level 0.3, apply. No frame generation enabled. Back to the game. It's the same sequence. No texture shimmering is present around the fence, background building and the tree. All thanks to DLSS subscaler. It's a massive improvement and I'll be honest, image quality is also looking sharper than FSR upscaler. FSR image was looking a bit soft. DLSS 3.8 really does a good job in this game. I'll just enable frame generation now. Just set frame generation to DLSS frame generation and not FSR3 frame generation. DLSS frame generation and DLSS super resolution upscaler. Still using its quality preset apply. Yeah, we need to restart the game in order to apply the changes. My monitor supports up to 240 Hz refresh rate. In the game's menu, FPS is capped at 225. This means NVIDIA Reflex is working. Standing right outside this apartment building, the FPS increased to around 85 all thanks to FSR frame generation. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Minor increase in latency, game is definitely playable. Not a big improvement in performance as there were barely any free GPU resources. Tree is not exhibiting that ugly texture shimmering now. Same thing for the plants. I'll just steal this vehicle now. Drive it around the city. Keep an eye on its bumper. 
the bumper should not be flickering thanks to the other mods. I can already see that. Look at that VRAM usage. Touching 8 GB. It's due to ray tracing. The graphics look absolutely stunning. I can see the light bouncing off the car's roof. All hell is breaking loose. Yeah, car's bumper is not flickering. Mod works very nicely even with the latest version of the game. It's a shame that this game still does not support FSR 3.1 officially. Not sure why. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.